And normally I'm the type of person who I think pooping in a restaurant's bathroom is kind of disgusting because they serve food there. But honestly, what is it there for? My friend and I are supposed to be going out to eat and the only thing that's ready is my bag with my purse, my keys and some Caramex. Nothing else is ready. I found a shirt but I also have the runs. <laughs> Tragic. Oh my god, I have a pair of leggings here. Put this on. It's one thing about leggings. I always have to check if there's holes inside of it because the leggings. Half of the time, I don't know what be going on with them. She said she's almost downstairs. The thing that I would normally take when I have to go. I can't even take that right now. This shirt, I didn't stretch it out in the front so now it looks a little crazy. I have these two pink tops that I bought at Marshall's and they're my absolute favorite. This one is from Love to Lounge, probably pajamas, honestly. That was my friend literally telling me that she is downstairs. Okay, that's cute. I need to put something on my face, lotion my dry little ankles that are always damn dry. What am I going to wear on my foot? Harachis. Honestly, these days, because they're so comfortable, they have been the quickest thing for me to like pull, to put on. Home remedies for diarrhea. Drink plenty of water. I'm going to take this little denim in case it gets cold, but I'm um, ready to go. Oh, my stomach is bubbling. So y'all, it's a day later. I washed my hair and put it back in these two braids. For a second there, I thought I was done with these braids, but apparently not because here we are. So yesterday I went out with my friend, so we know it. And when I tell you that it was kind of disastrous, it really was. There was a point in time, like after you guys saw me and I got dressed to leave, there was a point in time where I'm just like, I'm shitting my guts out. I cannot go. I'm not going. She called me before I, I ended the or FaceTime and she was like, I'm downstairs. And I'm like, all right, listen, I'm in the toilet. Give me a second. <laughs> and I had to go. And so I had read that like ginger is good for <coughs> the the pooping. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to just, I had some ginger candy inside there. So I was eating the ginger candy. And I kid you not, it lasted for about an hour before I had to go. Thankfully, at about an hour, we got to the restaurant. So I'm like, I have to go. And normally, I'm the type of person who I think pooping in a restaurant's bathroom is kind of disgusting because they serve food there. But honestly, what is it there for? Had I not had the experience that I had yesterday, I would have probably still thought the same thing. But because I had the experience that I did have yesterday and it came in clutch, I'm just like, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm on board. That is what it's there for. And I will not feel disgusted. And I had to go about three times at the restaurant and then I feel like it's comparable to when you have like when you have to constantly barf like when you're throwing up you don't want to eat food and it's the same thing when you have the runs you don't want to eat food because you feel like it's gonna be running through you and so I got something that I'd normally get but it was not as delectable as it normally is mainly because I feel like I literally was thinking about having to go when I was sitting down trying to eat and that was just not it at all it was just a horrible horrible experience and so that was awful so um i came home afterwards it was really good it was a good drive out to leave the apartment go do something else on my day off other than stay here and sleep and so that was great but i came home 
went again twice and I'm just like, okay, I'm over this, I'm over it right now, and I'm over it today. My butthole is burning and I'm just like, I can't even. So I fell asleep in the living room and then when Mr. came here, I woke up and came inside of the bed and that was just it. And I woke up at about 4 a.m. and I've been up since 4 a.m. I started my day by making some food. I made some stewed chicken and I made some pumpkin rice. Really, really good. Now I'm sitting now watching something on Netflix. I haven't even eaten any of the food yet. I also did make some breakfast. I made an omelet. I made some fried plantains. Face that my daughter was chopping it up with my sister. A full day. I'll tell you that. But I didn't vlog any of that because initially when I was looking for this camera, it was dead. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even be bothered. So I was, I didn't. So um, yeah. So after I cooked, I, I showered and washed my hair. <coughs> and here we are with the two braids. So we're either going to wear a scrub scap this week or we're actually going to like slit the braids down and make them work. We don't know yet, but we'll see as time progresses. But I'm here. It's my last day off and here for the ride. What can I say? I just got home, but my coworker and I stopped by this Spanish restaurant. And we bought some chicharron. If you're Spanish and that's not how you say it, do not come for me at all. But oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, we stopped by the Spanish shop and we bought some some pork and some banana. Ban I love green banana. They're a good source of, is it iron? I think so, I don't know. So we bought that and I was literally so excited about it. I had to start eating it in the car immediately. Oh, so now I'm about to, I think I'm gonna sit and eat a little bit more, make a little bit of coffee and I'm gonna chill out for a little bit. I'm kinda tired, I was falling asleep in the car so. I need to do something about that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna eat the chicharron. Hi y'all, it's been days and days, and a lot of days, since I picked y'all up. Yesterday was my day off, and I truly did nothing but stay up in this bed and sleep. I didn't even cook. And these days when I don't have my day off together, like if it's not, um, if it's not the weekend off together, I don't even bother cooking anymore. Because like that one day, I'm gonna use that entire day cooking and like I truly feel like I don't get to maximize my day off like that so I don't do that anymore because <clears throat> I can't be bothered and I feel like my body definitely needs the rest and I'm trying to make sure that I prioritize that the other day a patient saw me using this Carmex and she came for my entire soul she's like Carmex I know you know better she was the sweetest though and I'm like I know I used to use Nevea before but like I don't know how I got onto Caramix and I was telling her to him. I'm like, I was probably just being cheap about the Caramix. And she's like, but they're not cheap. And I'm like, you're right. So I don't even know how. But um, yeah, today I made some curry chicken and uh, I just had an omelet. It's currently 5.50 p.m. So like 6 p.m. I made an omelet. I ate half of that, hopped in the shower. I have the other half with me and maybe I'm going to take it with me to work later on to eat as like a late night snack. And um, eat something when I wake up at like 8.45 or 9. Judging that I actually go to sleep. Because I did sleep earlier. But the sleep was pitchy patchy. And it's normally like this. And last night I stayed up for a while. Or I tried. But I ended up falling asleep at one point. And wake up until like sometime after 11. I'm like oh my gosh. Like I'm really. But you know what. I feel like I have to give myself some grace on those days that are actually my nights off that I get to sleep in my bed and actually sleep in my bed and just deal with the consequences the day after because I work five days a week which means I have five nights a week I'm not sleeping in my bed so it's like all over the place but I just wanted to pop in and catch you guys up on the last couple of days what have I been up to nothing really nothing <laughs> nothing of substance which is also one of the reasons why I have not picked up the camera and maybe we're gonna be down to one video a week for the month of what month is this? For the month of May. And then in June, I have some exciting things and those will pick up for you guys. And all month of June, you get to enjoy that content and then back to normal afterwards. But it's exciting, trust. But this is in addition to a weekly vlog. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all next week.